Welcome to Mechanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the level sensors on cars that have aromatic air suspension or ABC suspension. So here we have an SL. We're going to look at the actual values of the uh, level sensors that detect the position of the wheel. Now this is helpful because sometimes you might have a sensor that's like basically bent or broken off there's some s classes that have an issue with the rear sensors they just rust and they literally fall off and are hanging and they get you know causes the car to either raise up all the way to the top or like drop all the way to the ground but there's no like full codes um in the aromatic because the car doesn't realize the sensor has just broken off and fallen off uh, it just thinks um needs to adjust to compensate at the level and it just doesn't throw any full code so let's let me show you how you actually can use the Ucanic scanner to find out the exact readings from the level sensors from each one of them so here inside the car we you want to turn on the ignition but don't start it you don't need to but you can and then once you have your scanner on go to diagnostic select your make now this procedure works on other cars that have air suspension as well press yes the menus might be, especially the control unit names are usually different from make to make, but I, you get the idea. Go to control modules, chassis, suspension system. Sometimes they'll say aromatic, and if your car has a, what's called ABC suspension, where it uses um, hydraulic fluid instead of air, then it will say ABC suspension. But you go to live data and level sensors, and then you can see all the values right here. I mean, these is 3.2 volt, 2.9. They're, they're, they're not going to be identical. They're going to vary a little bit, like in this case, you know. Um, but you can also see reference value. So as long as they're between 0 0.5 and 4.5, then you're good. Generally speaking, if you're really close to the limit, there might be an issue there. Uh, but let's go to graph. And then... Um, multi graphs merge graph you can see all four of them in one graph so you can see them and now if you drive you'll see those as the car you know shifts left and right you'll see these values change but this is uh, these values are um, within range there's no issue but if you have like a sensor that's like defective you're gonna get no reading there or you might get a reading that's way off um, at, at least the reference values the other thing is, if you're having issues, make sure to go to read codes and then clear them. In this case, uh, the suspension needs calibration, so you will have to go to control unit cal calibration and carry it, that out. But um, that's it. Thank you for watching your camera. You can be the mechanic.